In the lab that we completed, we explained how wave interference works. When the waves are on the same side of the rest line, they add together to make the larger wave. Waves are on the opposite sides of the rest line, they subtract from each other to make a smaller wave. I was asked to demonstrate this concept using sound, so I decided to demonstrate beats. I set up an oscilloscope on this computer so that when I strike one tuning fork, you can see the wave form on the, other, on the screen. You can also hear how the sound maintains the same frequency and volume. When I hit a second tuning fork with almost the same frequency, you will be able to hear the volume go up and down. This happens because when the sound waves are on the same side of the rest line, they add together, which make the sound louder. And when they, are the, when they are on the opposite sides of the rest line, they subtract to make the sound softer. You can see the combined wave on the oscilloscope. Ready? Mm -hmm. Musicians can use this concept to tune their instruments to make sure that they are playing at the same frequency. Alright, so what am I doing is he's sharp because it's all the way in and I'm flat because it's all the way out. And basically all I do is to match the pitch as he's playing, I push in the tuning side. So, so it's going from flat to sharp and eventually matching with his pitch. <laughs>